Hello, today we are going to take a look at Tommy Emanuel's song from his album It's Never Too Late uh, called The Bug um, and uh, right from the get-go when I first uh, heard this song uh, on this black and white uh, video on Tommy's YouTube channel I was totally mesmerized by it it's just so full of this uh, great emotions this, uh, this happiness uh, one person uh, told me that uh, if that's how uh, the bug sounds in Tommy Emanuel's world, then uh, she also wants to live it in it. So uh, yeah, great song. Have fun with it. The song has uh, four distinctive sections. Um, the first section uh, is the main theme and so on. And it's uh, always repeated twice. The, uh, the second section is is this one um, then the third section is this, this lick um, then uh, the final section the ending uh, is this Okay, uh, so uh, we can name them A, B, C, D, and uh, then the song structure is uh, A, B, A, C, A, D. A, B, A, C, A, D. Okay, so the song is in E, standard tuning, uh, and we start with uh, with the main theme uh, without an intro, and. Uh, First, let's take a look at first four chords. Okay. And we play boom chick over them. and we add melody. Okay, so uh, here uh, we uh, make hammer on. Often uh, here we do this. Okay, so so we play open uh, E string uh, as sort of an echo. Okay, uh, so uh, this is first half of uh, main team. Then we go through those chords. Okay, so uh, and uh, the this chord, this one, Tommy actually plays it like this instead of. You can choose whichever way is more comfortable for you. Uh, now, uh, here, uh, after after this, you go. So it's bass, and then the second bass with melody on open E, and then. your pinky and here you can go either on the second string or on the first string with, with your pinky so it's either or okay. and then E A7 E 
and you repeat all uh, all this uh, thing uh, so hold the main theme twice so very slowly the main theme Important thing. Uh, oftentimes, Tommy uh, plays uh, something like this. So he uh, sort of anticipates the beat. Uh, so he is on this chord a, a little, a little while before uh, the actual beat. Okay, like this. But uh, you can also play it, uh, maybe not like this, but on the end. Uh, okay, so uh, this was part uh, A. Now, as for part B, uh, we go, this is ending of part A, and then so it's first finger, pinky, pinky, and then you move your pinky back to the seventh fret. So like this, but uh, melody is elsewhere. So it's this shape. So it's and then the same thing, but with your second finger uh, on the fifth fret, not on the sixth. And it's good to play it uh, in a way so that this movement is uh, is exposed. So and uh, as for uh, this uh, pull off with your first uh, finger, uh, you want to mute uh, those strings right after it. So you can't play. mute those uh, strings like like this so it's and uh, bass is normal boom chick so now now you get those two fingers here you don't have to raise this one, just uh, move it and uh, get the pinky under it. So... And you go... So the melody is uh, open, uh, open B string, then third string, pinky, then first finger on second string, and then first uh, string open. Switch bass from third string, uh, sorry, from fifth string to sixth, or you can uh, just put your uh, second finger on both of those strings. So, and then, uh, sorry. G sharp uh, minor, the 
then uh, C sharp minor 7 and then section uh, but here Tommy plays them uh, without his thumb so without this he plays them like this okay so and you finish with this and from this point you uh, return to the uh, a uh, section so uh, hold the A section and then you go uh, into the C section. So uh, you, you go into the uh, C section uh, like this. So uh, on your... Uh, you can slide your pinky on the uh, fourth string gently uh, so that you end on the 11th fret of this fourth string. So. And from this point, uh, you enter uh, uh, this pattern where you play uh, your alternating uh, thumb, first finger, and your first finger plays uh, on the first string, and thumb switches strings. So uh, the first uh, shape is this, so your thumb plays this. while your finger plays uh, E string, so it's... Okay. And uh, you can add a little uh, muting, especially of this, of this string, so... Uh, sorry, not uh, the string, but those. So uh, you should try to raise your fingers right after playing the string. So it's like this. The second shape is very similar, but uh, you move your pinky to the 10th fret. Uh, like this. The third shape, uh, you have to switch those two fingers. So from the 10th to uh, 9th fret. So all those uh, three shapes have in common this. Okay. Only uh, different fingers play it uh, in the last shape. So. And from here, you go uh, here. Uh, this is uh, the three finger roll where you go one, two, three, one, two, three on the first shape, and then one, two, three, one, two, three on the second shape, and then uh, and then uh, the thumb and uh, first finger. So. switch uh, third finger with pinky and you start again but here you go just to second position and from here you go into this it's uh, like an ending of uh, the B part so And 
One thing I haven't mentioned about this part before is uh, that you can play it uh, two ways. The first is uh, longer notes in melody, so like this. And the second way is uh, shorter no notes anticipating the, the, the second note, this one, anticipating uh, the bass. So. so either or And you repeat all this section. From this point, you go to uh, to the B part, but uh, you can leave this introducing uh, lick out of it. So we can leave this and instead to go like this okay so without this just or if you like it more you can play So you play the B part, then you play A part again, uh, but here uh, there there are some differences because it's the last time you play it, uh, and it goes. So uh, you play this section two times. And the second time you play like this. So instead of and then bend on the uh, eighth fret. And so again, hold this part. And here uh, it is good to uh, go with uh, your first finger flat. So that you don't have to care about uh, which string you cover. And, and from here you go with the ending. So it's this. So it's. ending click but first let me play a uh, whole this section for you one last time so the ending click looks like this So it's um, first finger uh, flat on 10th on fret uh, first two strings, hammer on to the 12, pull off from 11, then 12th fret pinky, then first uh, finger uh, flat, uh, strings third and 4th. Uh, 
then pinky on the 12th fret 5th string then uh, from 2nd uh, finger on 10th fret to the 3rd finger on 11th like this so then your 1st finger uh, on the 9th fret of 3rd uh, string and harmonic on the first uh, string 12th uh, fret with your pinky so very slowly That's it.